In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to slow down the gun bunch open offset in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And if you want to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to simply stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies in the Madden community. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some nickel 335 and nickel 335 defense. And if you have not already got my 335 wide defensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description as well as into the comment section for you if you wanna get that, um, that defensive guide. It is the best defense in Man 21. And in the guide, I teach you not only how to run the defense, but how to use the defense to shut down some of the best offenses that you will face in Man 21. And so in this video, we're talking a little bit about how to stop the gun bunch open offset in Madden 21. And if you take a look at my coaching adjustments, you're gonna see that I've got my flats on 30 yards, I've got my curl flats on 10 yards, and my hook curls are on five yards, my option defense is on conservative, and we're gonna be talking a little bit about the Mike Blitz 3. This is my preferred defense um, for spread style defense offenses, and the primary reason why is because due to the linebackers being able to blitz, it allows you to have very, very good coverage as well at the same time. So we're gonna go from cover four into Mike Blitz three. Now from that point, if you take a look here on the right side, you notice that my linebackers are gonna be coming back into the line of scrimmage um, to basically help out with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our defensive line to the running back side. This is always one of the first steps that I take in defending any offense is to try to do this shift right here. This is one of the easiest things that you can do to stop the run. We're gonna crash our defensive line out, and then we're gonna basically bring our user right here. Now, if you watch, if they try to run this ball down the middle, you're gonna see we're gonna have very, very good run support. Whether it be um, out of that run or whether it be this RPO trap, if you take a look here at this RPO trap, it's gonna be the same kind of situation. You're gonna see that we're gonna basically be able to kind of come in and, and just take this run away. So we've taken care of the running game with one simple shift. Now from that point, what we're going to do um, is we're going to start shifting and adjusting our coverages to be able to deal with, uh, with, with this play. So uh, the first thing that we need to deal with is the bubble screen. And if you take a look here at the RPO alert bubble, you see that the R1 receiver is gonna be on the bubble screen. However, if I audible over here to the play flood, you see that he's now the X receiver. Um, if I audible to the play fake screen wheel, he's on the crossing route. So, uh, and then the last but not least, Y trail, he's on a man beating little trail route. So that player is all in all a problem, okay? And if I wanted to individually man him up, you can see here that on this play, he is the X receiver. But if I go to the other play, you see he's gonna be R, R1. So just so you can kind of know, you have to be kind of paying attention to that. If, if you can man, oftentimes you're gonna be manning him up on the X, but if he's the R1, that's how you can kind of know, oh, they're running the bubble screen. It's a little tell that the offense gives you. But I just like to man this guy up on that R1 receiver, okay? More than likely, he's the one that's gonna be coming on motion snap, motion slants, back and forth, posts, things like that. So I just like to man him up. Now remember, my curl flats are on 10 yards, my cloud flats are on, um, my, my cloud flats are on 20 or 30 yards. Okay, so the next thing that I have to do is I have to create you know, some, some help, uh, basically. So what I like to do from this point is I like to actually go ahead and create from, from a Mike Blitz 3 look, I actually like to create a, um, essentially a cover two style of defense. So I'm gonna show you kind of what this looks like. So I'm gonna put both of my outside corners in cloud flats. As you can see, this is kind of what they've got going. Now, from that point right there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this deep blue safety jacks, and because oftentimes if they run this formation, the bunch or the three wide receivers are going to be to the right side of the field, like to the wide side. So whichever side they're on, that's gonna tell you the wide side of the field. So um, he's going into a deep half. He's gotta be able to get out there um, and take anything away deep up the seam, okay? And, and oftentimes, if they're gonna streak someone up the middle, it's not gonna be the tight end. More than likely, it's gonna be the slot receiver. 
From that point, I'm going to take this left of screen um, defensive lineman, and I'm going to be putting him into a three rec. And then the last couple of adjustments is I'm going to take the linebacker on the left side, I'm going to put him into a seam flat, and I'm going to take that safety, and I'm going to put him in an inside quarter. So this is kind of the defense that I've created. And what you're going to see if you just watch how this works is this is going to take away pretty much everything that they want to do. Even if they want to try to hit me over the top, because I've deep tap, put that safety in a deep half, oftentimes I'm going to be able to have a fairly decent shot at being able to stop a lot of what they're going to do. The beauty of this is this allows you to keep really good integrity for your run support. If I were to audible um, to the cover four, you would see here that you know the cover four would look proper, but if I were to audible to the man coverage, then you know you would see here that you know it wouldn't quite look exactly what we want it to be. So by audibling first to Mike Blitz three, it changes everything. So like right here, if I go from cover four and I audible down to cover four show two, you're gonna see that this is gonna change. Look at the adjustments, look at everything that's different now. Um, you see that the adjustments are all messed up. It's not what it needs to be. So those are just some kind of little things that you can do to help this a little bit. One other thing I wanna hit on really quickly is if you see something like this, you can audible down to the cover four show two. You just need to make sure that you re-seam flat both of your defensive linemen just like this. You put a three rec on the field and then you take that slot corner and you man him up on the circle receiver. Um, as you can see, this defense is also very effective. This is really good, especially if they are um, trying to burn you over the top with like a play like Flood. This is another version of the same style of defense. The only, the major defenses or the major difference is because of that slot corner, we now have a lot more flexibility as far as handling that outside uh, streak. So just by manning this guy up, you know, circle's not going to be really an option. And then as you see there, they're going to match onto the X receiver. So um, you can go with either way, but my preferred way to do it is to go to the cover four show two. The biggest thing though, is you've got to make sure that your user comes in here. Because if he doesn't, if he's not in here, you're not going to be able to stop the run. All right. And then from that point right there, you're just going to do this. And then you're going to have essentially this defense right here set up. Now, if they want to run a bubble screen on you, I will tell you that they can. Um, they can hit this bubble screen, but you're going to get a catch tackle because of the cloud flat out there. Even though that cloud flat's at 30 yards, he's going to take an outside release on the, on the player. And so you're going to have a lot of, uh, you're going to basically get a catch tackle every time. You're not going to get interception on a bubble screen, but you're going to be able to deter the bubble screen. And that's what's so good about the nickel 335 wide defense it just shuts everything down it has the tools that you need to be able to stop any offense that the game will throw your way so if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide i'm going to be leaving a link in the description of this video that will literally walk you step by step through the nickel 335 wide defense it's the best defense in the game and you can get it for just 15 bucks there's going to be a link in the description that will take you right there to get the ebook if you want. And I'm also going to try to leave that link in the comment section for you as well, just so I can make it as easy for you to get to it as possible. If you have any questions about the defense or the ebook in general, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208 218 six nine zero zero thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and um there, like i said there's going to be a link in the comments with the guide